like to call the uh, October 16th, uh, 2022 uh, Calhoun County Council meeting to order. Uh, John, give us the location. Yes, sir. Lord, for your presence, we give you thanks. We ask that you will uh, bless this session, give us a wisdom to do the work, working for the people of this county and, and serve their needs and so forth. And uh, praise you all to do for us in this county. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We must have changed it. Can y'all hear me out there? Yeah. yeah. All right, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got to change that, right? I'm sorry. Oh, one way, Mr. Arthur. Mr. Chairman, I move that we amend the agenda to include after new business first reading by title only of ordinance 2022 22. Second. Okay, got a vote? Yep. Motion to second. Any further discussion? All these people, aye. 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 Chestnut, I guess. Uh, yeah, three minutes. I know you're a good talk, sir. You single me out like no, that? No, no, no. Yeah, no. What do you do um, What I wanted to uh, come and uh, speak briefly, uh, first, Council, uh, thanks for uh, providing me the opportunity to speak. Um, I know there's been a, a lot of ongoing with everything that's going on in the county, and um, being on a committee and serving on several committees for this county. I want to applaud each of you for the work that you do. A lot of times it's an ungrateful job, uh, so I applaud you. Um, but the reason that I came um, tonight is because I know that someone's going to come up later and speak about the Haywood Community Development Alliance. Um, and I wanted to come in and put my two cents in uh, about the status of us here in the county. And I've been coaching for 35 years. and all over the country, all over the world, actually, because we did some national traveling. And I've never experienced what I've experienced coaching here in Calhoun County with the migration of kids out of our county, okay? Um, our baseball program went from being one of the, you know, we were competing with the Chapins and the White Knolls, and for the last three years, we've had seventh and eighth graders competing at the varsity level. Why? Because all of our kids are leaving, going to White No, I mean to Great Collegiate. Um, but we need to start providing things and facilities for our kids. And when the county is doing things like that, we need to stop talking about tax revenue increases and think about our kids. You know, right now I'm in school for, for Computer program in cybersecurity. You know why? Because my son was in a, a, a program and we don't have any STEM fields or anything in this community for our kids, okay? We've got to start investing in our kids, whether that's parks, recreation, but when this county is trying to grow and provide opportunities for our youth, we gotta do better about our kids, all right? And that's all I gotta say. Thank you. Uh, Other matters, we have Mr. Uh, Fitzwaystack. 
three minutes, Mr. Wayside. Thank you. My name is Trust Wayside. I wanted to talk to you briefly about the uh, live burn training facility that we had in Calhoun County that was torn down approximately two years ago. There were some statements made that this building or facility was torn down without consultation to the fire department because the town and the county had been receiving complaints about smoke when the facility was being used. Um, we spoke to the town of St. Matthews and the town of St. Matthews has no records of any report ever of a smoke complaint. I spoke today with Mr. Wendy Heckel. Mr. Wendy Heckel was the chief of St. Matthews Fire Department for 20 years, from 2001 to December 31st, 2019. Mr. Wendy Heckel states that he never had a complaint at all about smoke from the facility. We had a county employee who went on the air and made a statement last week that the facility was torn down because it was in structural disrepair and sustained fire damage in a fire. I spoke to Mr. Randy Coleman today, and the facility did sustain fire damage in 2009 when we had let the National Guard use the facility for a training fire. The National Guard notified Mr. Coleman immediately of the damage and brought in a civilian engineering company to repair the damage at their expense, then got the Fire Association for the county to come out and inspect the repairs to our liking, and we approved them. So all of this damage was corrected. All of our stations have continued to use the facility up until the time it was torn down and no chief has noted any structural damage or safety concerns. The fire academy out of Columbia sent me a letter today that they were continuing to use the facility and it was a certified facility through the state fire commission. They were using it for training for Barnwell, Bamberg, and Aiken County, holding burns at our facility in Calhoun County, and they noted no structural damage or anything else wrong with the facility. So I have letters to back up what I've said from each person, the town, the chiefs, the state fire academy, and everything else. So I, I, we're not going to put the facility back. It's gone now. But I'm a big advocate of speak the facts state the facts. If the facts aren't that there was a smoke problem or the facts weren't that there was a structural integrity problem, then own up to why it was torn down. And let's just simply state that because now we had a facility, we've got to have a new facility for our firefighters. We've got to provide support for our firefighters in the county. And we're in a situation now that the taxpayers are going to take on that burden to rebuild a new facility that we already had that there was nothing wrong with. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Motion for approval of the September 26, 2022 agenda. We have minutes and back. So moved. Second. Five to move and second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Looks like what I said. Uh, you have a committee to report to public service of the Fire and Training Commission update. We do. We actually met with the training commission the other day, and per that meeting, we decided to move forward with the new uh, burn facility where we had decided to put it. Uh, I believe the majority of the people all were on that page uh, working through it. I think they saw that this would be the positive thing to do to move forward. They were concerned about future growth, but we addressed that as well. Future growth can be out in that location as well. That's all I have. Um, Mr. Carson was in on that meeting. You have anything to add? Nothing else, sir. Uh, John, we need to take any, any action on that? No action. Okay, thank, thank you all for that report. Any other committee reports? Under appointments, no more committee reports? No. Okay, uh, the Regional Eastern Advisory Committee, after the law of Savannah Council of Government, I think we need two more people on that committee. If nobody have any appointees, I'm going to make a motion that we appoint Doris Harley and Ruth Whitehead. We already have Sheila Jenkins on that committee now. Give us our two people. You need a second? Yes, sir. I'll second that. Five to move a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, likewise, the ayes have. Yeah, Doris Harley. Doris Harley. Ruth Whitehead. Okay. Under appearances, Kenneth Vincent, Haywood Community Development Alliance, and Haywood. 
Chairman, I don't think he has made it uh, tonight. Okay. Um, what I'll do is, you know, we want to hear people, like I said earlier, who's already on the agenda and could have had a traffic problem or something not getting here. So if you come in before we um, get finished out here, not to have to appear next time. We don't have that with us, uh, Council. Let's uh, table that for right now, please. Mr. Chairman, I move we, uh, that we table our item two on the new business until we get the proper information so that we can uh, award the proper uh, I second. Just, just clarification, we just don't mm -hmm. table because we don't have the data in front of us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Right, that's the, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, just one minute. Yeah, I just like to know who we're awarding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, you know, so I just want to have a little concern about it. We've got a lot of delays on this particular project. So we'll make sure any delays we have now is not going to affect the price. If, if, that's the price. If, if you hold on that block, we'll grab it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this one is let me, let me just say, while they're doing that, John, was I supposed to do um, first reading on August 20, 22 days, 22? Yeah. Clarify number one. Just to clarify. I'm not asking a question. Can you just clarify whether there is or is not a meeting on the 24th? Yeah, there is a meeting on the 24th. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There is. So we've got three quotes uh, for a Pierce Freightliner four-door pumper tanker for the Cummins 
L9 engine, Allison transmission, 2,000 gallon water tank, Hale DSD. What is that DSD? Something to do with the pump. Hale is, is the, the actual pump that pumps the water. Okay, the water pump uh, and side roll protection. We got three quotes. Um, the lowest was 518,747. The second was 526,767. And the high was 535,398. Um, so our recommendation would be to move forward with the 518,747 uh, submitted by Well, I'll have the exact um, the scope on this one, but that's that's the cost five eighteen seven forty seven. And, and do you know the vendor? Uh, no, sir. Pierce is it. But the difference is is there's some options on here for payment. Okay, and that's what we'll work through as far as upfront versus option for payment. Second. Probably need a second at a further discussion. Join us at the Phoenix would you work out. Yes, sir. This will be this will be a penny this is penny sales tax and then we've got some funds coming in from USDA rural development to add to that as well. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor aye. Uh, aye. aye. Mr. Chairman, I vote that we approve first reading title only ordinance 20, 22 22. I'll second that. Probably moving second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, likewise. Mr. Bishop, you said you wanted to abstain? Yeah, I'll abstain. <coughs> yes, sir. All right. So it's four ayes and one abstention. Okay. And the administrator. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, three things. Uh, we did have to delay the Hayward uh, Recreational Park ribbon cutting, uh, unfortunately, uh, because of the storm. But we are planning on having it uh, in two Fridays, October the 28th at 10 o'clock uh, at Hayward Park, uh, October the 28th at Hayward Park. Um, we've got a countywide litter coming up October the 19th. That's a Thursday. We'd like everybody uh, interested in keeping our county clean to uh, please come out and uh, join us for that. So that'll be October the 19th. We'll start at 9 o'clock in the morning at, at the Mill Street uh, doorway here. Um, and then I'd like to thank the, our county transportation committee as well as the town of St. Matthews. Uh, if you've ridden on... Uh, FR Huff Drive, you'll see the new guardrail that's been put up after we <coughs> cleaned the, the railroad cut. Uh, it took some time to do, but uh, we were able to pull that together between transportation funds and then the town of St. Matthews kicked in some as well. Um, that's not <coughs> for looks, certainly, it's for safety. Um, the old telephone poles, cut off telephone po poles were pulled up, um, and uh, so I, I want to thank those two for that. Uh, and that's it for me, Chair. Uh, John, you gave the town and the county some credit, but I want to give you credit for seeing that, having the insight to see that. And yes, sir. Some people can notice the work we did around the courthouse and see the courthouse now and see what, how beautiful the building that is. So I want to give you credit for get, get, helping with that. So thank you, sir. Yes. All right. If nothing else, any, any council got you? Nothing else. Uh,
before or after? Pardon me? Will media questions be before or after executive session? We, we don't have a uh, question after executive okay. session. I don't even know what we're going to discuss. It'll be after executive session. Okay, thank you. And I don't know if we're going to open up for questions or not. If we don't have anything to bring out, we want to open up for questions. Uh, get some more. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I move we go into executive session to receive legal advice and a uh, contract for that. Second. About to move a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, uh -huh. likewise. Does the press have any questions? Do you yes. Don't I, do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I doubt we have a vote. But if we do, we can call it in front. I'm doubtful from what I know now. I'm doubtful we have anything to bring out. Yes, Mine are quick and painless, I hope. Um, in regards to the county administrator form of government campaign, has county council approved any county funds or county resources for use in campaigning to support a yes vote? No, ma'am, the county okay. has not supported. Okay, thank you. And, um, and I know that um, recently Sandy Run News requested the contract for Hayward Park and we reviewed it and thank you so much for getting it to us so quickly. Um, but I had one question. What, when did County Council approve the contract to be signed for Hayward Park? Yeah, we signed the lease. I can go back and tell you a date, Amy. I'll be glad to do that to you. I mean, the lease was signed on June the 10th, 2022, but I couldn't look, I looked back for a while and couldn't find where County Council had approved the, the lease. Okay, I can go back and get that for you. Okay, good, thank yeah. you. And um, let me skip down. Um, I, I didn't notice, also I didn't notice any additional funds for law enforcement to cover that park since it will have visitors. Are there any plans for additional funds for the Sheriff's Office? We'll, we'll cross that bridge, I guess, when we get there. Okay. We don't know yet, we don't know what we're gonna do out there. Okay, and then just one more, and thank you for being so patient. Um, did county staff cut roads in Sandy Run Crossing using county equipment at taxpayer expense? Not to my knowledge. Okay. okay thank you. I'm not saying that's been done, but not to my knowledge. I'm saying that. So I'm not, I, I don't watch it closely 24 hours a day. What it goes. <laughs> no, I, I understand. You, I assure you if that happens, we'll take action. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you all for coming.